Okay, let's do this. Put this right here. Alrighty. Speed round alive. If anyone wants to join me. Here we go. What's up, buddy? And they're popping in now. I figure that while we're sitting here, I might as well do this. I haven't done one in a little bit. Hello, 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 everybody. I will not be going over any of the details from the video that we're about to watch. Uh, so we can just do, we can do other stuff right now and just kind of run through if you have any questions, especially as we're coming into these hot months. It's hot time. Get in the hot months. Woo! All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a fun day. It is a fun day here in June. Uh, as well, as odd as this may be, this is uh, my late mother's birthday, as a matter of fact. So it's been, it's been one of those days. Good memories and all kinds of fun stuff uh, for me going on today. So uh, let me just run through. I'm seeing some questions come through. Uh, the garden, Mike, garden's coming along great. It's, it's growing really well. It's, still, it's been really cold. It actually snowed at about 8,000 feet the other night, but we're doing good here. So uh, it's coming along. I'll, I'll do more on that. Um, okay, so the video, uh, Mike, the other Mike, yes, it's going to be up for 24 hours, and then actually it'll be up longer than that, but the comments will only be on for 24 hours, and then I'll shut it off. So whoever comments between that time are going to be able to get into the video uh, for the giveaway that'll happen on Mondays, and we'll actually do the, the whole live thing. Okay, so here we go. There's another person asking me about this uh, chicken chicken feed for organic matter. Um, look, if you've got chickens, you should go ahead and feed them. Uh, there, there are much better ways to put down organic matter than that. Uh, you know, look, there, there is something out there, and I can talk about this for a second. Um, Peter, you... Uh, let me back up. So uh, a product, uh, corn gluten meal, if you've heard of it, it was pitched as a pre-emergent for a long time. It is also a ton of organic matter. Uh, it does have some minor effects on crabgrass, not very much. The rate on it is absurdly high, uh, but if that, that is something that you can buy and put it down, and it's corn gluten meal if that's what you want to do. Um, so, you know, that is, that's something. Otherwise, peat moss is great, compost is great, M mushroom compost, there's all kinds of things you can put down on top of a lawn to add organic matter into it. And I would guess that the rate, let's talk about math for a second, and then I'll, I'll get down into some of these other questions, but if you've got, say, a 50-pound bag or something, and I don't know what the recommendations are for, for the feeding of the, the feed, the chicken feed, um, but, you know, you've got to consider that if you want to raise your, um, your organic matter by anything significant, you're talking about putting down, you know, a 1,000 pounds per 1,000 square feet to make any sort of difference. So that's something to, to consider. When you're, when you're looking at this. You know, 10 pounds per 1,000 square feet of something uh, to boost organic matter really isn't gonna do too much, just so you know. I uh, just wanna make sure you know that. Okay, let's cruise along, cruise around. Hey guys, hey, hey, good to see you. Uh, let's see, uh, project launch. Uh, so Tom, I'm not sure which, oh, the one that I probably did with Katie. I actually drove by there today. I didn't take any pictures of it. They had sprinklers off doing some repairs for about two weeks, but they've got it back to looking pretty good right now. The weeds are dead. I'll be getting back down there next week, so that's good. Nathan, I have a full change. Uh, I don't really want to spoil what's going to be happening uh, back there right now, but there's some major changes that are coming, and, and I'll have to keep everybody posted on that, okay? Doug, you are so welcome. Thank you for submitting it. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Brian Bradshaw, what's your experience with water-saving products like Hydrotain? Um, I've, I've never actually used it. I know a lot of people swear by it. I believe that it's just sort of a loose liquid polymer, from my understanding, uh, which is like used in dust control and, and things like that. So I imagine it works pretty well. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know uh, myself personally. The people who do use it swear by it, so I would I would trust them if you're seeing any uh, feedback online or, or whatever, you know, people are talking about it, I'd say just give it a shot if you've got hot spots. But obviously the best thing you could do is have a thick lawn. The thicker your lawn is, the more it will retain moisture, just, just so you know. Uh, okay. Uh, Gary Henning, curious about 002700. Want to use that on a yard? Give it super dark green. Uh, so yes, yes. 
as long as you make sure that the rest of your nutrition is in good balance, when you add something with a bunch of miners in it that are designed to boost color or chlorophyll, you know, all, all of that kind of thing, the iron is going to make grass darker, especially if you have your proper amounts of nitrogen uh, already and, and the grass is healthy. That's really why that works well, as most people are, um, you know, they're doing, uh, they have a good fertility program and it just aids to that. Uh, yeah, Trevor, no doubt, right? Super nice down there today. Um, Matthias, I really don't know. I, 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 I believe you. I, I haven't actually checked on that. Uh, let's see. 92 in Illinois. Whew. Yeah, that's, that's warm. Bugs eating my flower leaves, but don't want to throw anything that kills bees. Thoughts? Hmm. There are plenty of things, uh, on labels that you can look. Just make sure you know what's on there. What is eating your leaves first before you go after and, uh, start attacking. But you can... I believe you can look up things like e even on Do My Own that just say be safe, like honey be safe or, or whatever, or pollinator safe. That's that's what you'd be looking for and you can you can find things that way. Uh, any next products you would suggest not applying to a spring, summer, heat stressed yard? No, not really. Um, but still the most important thing is to make sure you get water on it. So, um, Doug, it would be best to do it early in the morning. Get it out early in the morning. Hypothetical question, top dress with sawdust. Oh, I don't know. I don't even know if I would do that. Um, just because I don't know what the decay would be like um, of any sort of wood material. It's usually not a good thing to do. You know, even like uh, wood chips and compost and stuff don't really break down. You, you kind of have to pull that out. So I don't know if I would suggest that at all. Can you throw down bio stems in the morning, evening when temps are below? 80? Uh, yes, yes, totally fine. But I think if you can get out there early in the morning, that's typically what I do in the summer. Uh, as I run out early, um, you know, when the sun's coming up, everything's cool, there's dew on the lawn. That works really, really well. So I would I would just go go that route. Good evening, Roshan. How you doing? Uh, okay. Plan was to spray double dark cocktail with hydrotain and backpack sprayer. Any thoughts? Also, water right in on the next day. Um, you know what, Nestor? Please check that first. I don't know how well those will play together. I probably wouldn't do that. I just... Thinking out loud, I don't know if I would do that. But the hydrotain should have a hose end sprayer unless you're just dumping it all in and doing it a different way. I'm not sure, but I don't know if I would mix those. Uh, opinion of top dressing soil versus sand. Okay, sand, great for leveling. But anytime you can add topsoil, I think it's better. Uh, in my opinion, and that is just my opinion. But I think that... <sighs> Let me tell you this, the areas where I put sand down and there were some deep spots up there in my own backyard because I had a ton of frost heave this last winter. Um, it, it takes a little while to rebuild that and uh, to get matter back into that sand. And I can see the areas where the grass just doesn't want to be as thick and, and it can kind of mat up and create... Mm, I can see it attempting to build a thatch layer. It's, there's just not enough happening, you know, when you get that sand in there. So, uh, personally, I think I would rather um, go with soil. So, wow, there's a ton of questions here. Let's see how many I can get to. Uh, no, 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 uh, eventually there is going to be a very flat spot. Let me just put it that way. Doing an application CXDI 2404 and then some micro O2 next weekend here in the Pacific Northwest. Still get rain and temps in the 70s. Is that application of CXDI YOK? Okay? I, I would imagine so. Uh, what rate are you thinking? You're going to go with the three pound rate? I would imagine that would be just fine right now. Don't see any reason why not to do that. It's a good time of year to get that going. Helping a buddy reno his front yard. Huge Bermuda invasion. Great. 50% is heavy. Should I advise him to use biostems for the soil throughout the summer? Yes. I mean, unless you're planning on stripping it all out. Uh, if you're just going to go ahead and, you know, kill it back and seed, you might as well get that soil in good shape. All right. Sean, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you for your support. Or should I go with the 818? I was planning to do that later. Save that one. Yeah, save that one, money. Might as well. Uh, Mark, you haven't missed much. Hang, hang tight there. We're, we're just running through some fun stuff right now. Michael, seven hour drive after being gone for a week and a half. I wonder if my lawn misses me for sure. Definitely. Uh, just hopefully it's not seeing any other mowers while you're gone. I, I really hope not. That would be a shame. 
Uh, CEC is low 3.9, even after 16 yards of compost. Uh, spoon feed best option, TTF. Okay, so CEC, that just means you have, you just have a lot of sand content in there. Um, and, and really rebuilding soil structure is something that takes an extreme amount of time. So, I mean, I don't know how much your 16 yards actually covered. Uh, if you were putting like a, a yard per thousand or what, I don't know what your actual uh, measurements were that you were going. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it says right there, 8,000 square feet. So you ended up putting two yards of compost per thousand. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, uh, it's just something that's going to have to be worked in over time. I mean, you do lose a little bit just as it starts to dry out. There's going to be some some carbon loss just to the atmosphere after you use compost anyway. Uh, spraying biotin green pump and the sun is going down. Spraying in the dark, making it dark in the dark. We like that. Which is better, liquid K or granular K? If you need to adjust your levels of potassium in a big way, like I have seen on 90% of the soil tests that have been sent to me, you are going to need to use granular or you will go broke trying to do it any other way. So go with granular. Potassium is potassium at the end of the day. There's different ways to get into the plant. Potassium acetate is one of the highest uptakes uh, for uh, the foliar. That's really, it works uh, best for that, but it's not going to fix any soil deficiencies. Okay, that you're going to need to use a granular for that. Man, there's so much on here, guys. I should have gone, I should have gone earlier. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. put down iron in high heat. Yes, you can, make sure you have plenty of water. Absolutely. Uh, would you add a bit more for the tree liquid fruit product soon? I wanna use this for fruit trees and lots of ornamental. The 402 is freaking fantastic for that. Uh, Ely Quick Connects, do they shut off water when disconnected? Mm, I don't know that, I'd like to hear that. Um, you know, when we did those, John, we actually used big hydraulic uh, quick connects for our spray guns. Uh, those worked really well. They would, they, you could get self, uh, the ceiling ones as well. Hot and dry, moved here a few months ago. Lawn is bare, soil is compacted. Should I give up until fall? Uh, you have to water and you have to slowly water into clay. You can't do it all at once. So if you really want to have it look good soon, then that's, that's really what you're going to have to do. Uh, floor green for bonsai, sure, drips. You don't really need to push growth on that, so I wouldn't do a whole lot. Uh, K-Fight does tend to work good as far as suppression goes. If you've already got an acute infestation, you need to go with a regular fungicide. Okay. Uh, I think I need to stop. We're down to 10 seconds over on the other side. Okay, we're going to the video right now. I'll be over there in the chat. Thank you, guys. Thank you for helping me get to 15K. I'll talk to you here on the chat in the video. See ya.